Okay. It's still raining out, so what we're going to do is mount the fans. Okay. I'm going to give them one right about here, and then one right about here. And let's see how that works. So, I've got some nice stainless steel screws, you know, so we don't go through the, all the way through. So we drill. Over tighten, get them tight enough. Now he's gonna have to figure out exactly how he wants it, but I'm gonna set him for him. Okay, I'm going to put him somewhere over here so that it's not exactly in the middle, but he has one there. This will get him while he's on the other side. This time I tighten them each up because I got the first one nice and tight and this one Now we're going to wire them. I think we're in a good position. You can move them any way he wants to. Now I'm going to wire them. I'm going to run these all the way across to the existing wires in, in the thing, and then I'll tie these to the new wires that I ran. Now, if I have red and white, I would run red hot and white neutral. The fans come with a red and black. To me, both of them are hot. So I have a problem with this. But, so I am going to run red as hot. And I'm going to use, hopefully this is hot, and that wherever they're made, that they think this is neutral. Okay? So, let's get started with this. Okay. So I'm going to use, instead of using the butt connectors, I'm going to use this inline connector.
and then all you do push that in and it goes inside each wire makes a good connection this is all interior so this works good to connect over here, clip it, you can always clip long, don't clip short, okay we connect it to the one side and then we can go right, we grab the wire and just put it, put it in here, it'll go in the whole side just like that, okay. And then you crimp it. Make sure it goes all the way through. When you put them in, you've got to go all the way in. I don't know if you could see that, but there's like a little plug at the end, and you got to make sure that that wire gets all the way in there, okay? Because if you don't, this little piece won't be connecting to the wire. When you bring the other one in, you're bringing it, it's easy to get know where you're at. But that inside one, you have to get right. Okay, so we have red connected to red, and then we're going to see if we have enough wire. Same thing. Notice where the plug is on the back side. Get your wire in. Okay, and then attach this. To the existing one. Okay. All right. I hooked it up to his existing lights. Okay. And oh, nice, nice, powerful little fan. All right, we got the one hooked up. All right, now I want to zip tie some up there so it makes the wires look neat, and then we'll hook this one up to these wires. It's important to make things look nice and neat. All it takes is a little extra care to do that.
Okay, now, now I have these connected there. You saw the one fan working. Now I'm gonna connect these. I put the one in first, then I put it in line, keeping them somewhat tight so when I strap them up, everything works beautifully. Okay. Alright. His inside lights come on and his fans come on at the same time. He just comes in the trailer. Boom. Air. Man, that feels good. I think he's gonna like it. Alright. Now I'm gonna finish strapping these up, finish the connection outside. It stopped raining. I'll get it done. He needs it for tomorrow. Now I got it all all the wires tucked up nice with the uh, zip ties. He comes in, turns on his lights, his fans come on also. He doesn't want them running. You can always go behind him and turn them off. Okay? Hope he only wants one running. But here in South Florida. I'll bet he's going to have both running. All right, Derek. That's for you. It looks so good. And it feels so good. So the battery is charging. I'm going to close all this up. Derek, now you're, when your truck is running, it's going to be charging this battery. Okay? This battery is going to be able to run your lights and your fans. Whether the seven pin is hooked up or not, doesn't matter. Your jack is going to work whether your truck is hooked up or not. Okay? So you're going to be able to use your electric jack, your lights, and your fans without hooking up to anything. When your seven pin is hooked up, it's going to operate your brakes and your and charging this battery. So you're always going to have this battery fully charged and you're going to be your fans running, your lights on, it's going to be a lot cooler in here, you're going to be able to see better. All right, Derek, and for anybody else who wants to do this, this is your step-by-step, -step. all right? Build them with Papa. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. All right, thank you. Please make a comment, um, you know, give me a thumbs up. All this helps. Thank you very much. Fun. I even fixed your back light. I'm right here under your back light and I can feel the air. Very slight here, but I can feel it. Okay? Both fans are running. Alright? They're hooked up to the switch. Turn off the switch. Everything turns off. Seven pins hooked up and it's charging the battery. There you go.